G'day, Tom Natton for Sporting News Australia here from Kudos Bank Arena for what promises to be a massive day of boxing, headlined of course by the interim WBO Super Welterweight World Title Fight between Tim Zhu and Tony Harrison. There's a stacked undercard, one of the best we've seen in Aussie boxing. Come with us, we'll show you all the angles, backstage, ringside, we've got it all covered. This is what committed head splitter fans do. Yeah. They get in the moment with the hats, the same bucket hat going on, we've got his shirts going on, mate. We're here to see him split some heads. Oh, so good. I really put everything that I've been working on, inspiring in training, into that fight. Um, had to warm up a little bit, but once I started finding my range properly, started letting go, they were landing and um, it was good. You're no stranger to this kind of thing. Does it feel like a big fight? Yeah, it definitely does. It does, definitely does. So uh, it's good. You can see the, the buzz, even everyone behind the scenes. Here you can see, you can feel the buzz. Any strong feelings on how the main event goes? Oh man, like I'm looking forward to it. You know what I mean? You've got someone who's uh, as experienced as uh, Tony and got a, you know, Tim Zhu who's uh, coming through young, hungry, and he's going to go and take that. Tony thinks uh, he, there's no chance, but mate, Tim's uh, driven and he's uh, going to get the job done. A draw, how do you sum up your feelings? Uh, mate, draw is basically a participation award in my book and um, you know, I didn't come here for a close fight or a draw. Benny seems pretty happy with it and he reckons he'd finish strong but I guess we're in a different fight. But you know, he can box, it's a good fight. You know, we're, we're fighting for, if Tim wasn't here, we'd be the best two in Australia. You know what I mean? So that's a world class level fight. Um, I'm disappointed because I didn't come here for anything less than victory but we'll do it again. I'll do it tomorrow in the bathroom if we have to. <laughs> Honestly, I'm actually happy that it happened because now I know what it feels like to have like an eye kind of slowly shutting and that distorted perspective of being in a fight and kind of losing a little bit of vision. So it's a good experience, it's a good lesson, and I've got to keep my front hand up. up. The fact that he just wasn't throwing back, I saw that just as an invitation to just keep putting shots in different directions, and I wasn't necessarily looking for the stoppage or looking for just like throwing a heaps of, heaps of amount of shots. I was just seeing a lot of openings and just going for it. Yeah, we came a long way, that's what the song said. And I could do all things, I could do all things, yeah, I could do all things, yeah, yeah. We came a long way, that's what the song said. And I could do all things, I could do all things, I can do all things, yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid of the moment, I'm not afraid I can't hold it. I gotta show them, gotta get up in the morning. I got a gift and I'm starting to own it, yeah, yeah. And I can do all things, I can do all things. Man, he's got he's got really good power. It's something we had to be careful of. He did get me with a few good ones, but um but man I've, I've got a good chin. So I took him well and um kept coming back. He's going up about the decision. Um you're pretty confident that it went the right way? Yeah, hundred percent man. I d I don't think it was that overly close, especially he got a point given to him for the mouth guard as well. And um and, and still was to me post seven three, eight two, but I'd have to look over the tape and and see, which I told him too, man. Have a look at the tape and see what you think, and then come back and talk to us. Shout to the city that raised me. Shout to the people that made me. I'm from the 80s. I don't think mumbling wavy. I grew up black on a Jay-Z, man. And that's the most dangerous statement. Yeah, yeah. We came a long way, and that's what the song said. I thought I was, I was dominant from pretty much nearly every round, you know. So, it might have been one or two rounds where, you know, I got roasted off my corner for doing a few dumb things. But, um, <laughs> you know, for the most part, it was a pretty smart performance. And um, I'm really happy with it, you know. TJ's a tough lad. I've got nothing but respect for him and um yeah it was a great challenge You know, I thought I'd take my time. You know, he's a very experienced um, fighter, so I just, you know, because I've been every fight I had, I've always stopped him. And I thought, you know, what, let's go the distance, and let everyone know that I can go the ten rounds, I can go the distance. But you know, I just showed a little clip that the power is pretty there. You know, it's pretty good, eh? You see that power? 
it was good. And it wasn't the left hand too, it was the right. Beautiful uppercut. Did you think he was gone? Yeah, I thought he was gone. I mean, he's pretty tough. Like I said, he's experienced, so he got up like a champion. So what did you learn out of that experience? Uh, I don't know. I guess I know what round seven, eight, nine, ten is. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes this life can get rough. You get knocked down, but you got to get up. Keep going. I'd have been knocked down a thousand times. Yeah, I traveled around a thousand miles. Feeling so tired, but you know I can't stop now. Got no fear. You can kick me around, but I won't stay down. I run this town, they backing down. We go on the rounds. Yeah, the winds will blow, but these roots too deep. I'm on my feet, the underdog, and I won't be beat. Yeah. We ain't I think I started off good. Um, the middle, the middle rounds. I think I, he started feeling that um, what he's good at. He gets into this groove and he moves around, flicks the jab, um, and he doesn't let you set up. And I was sort of come, trying to come in with that one shot, but I started landing a little bit. I think I was landing the cleaner, cleaner, harder shots. Uh, but he was he was very consistent at, and and with his movement, very 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 sound to what he does. Uh, I've seen. Um a completely different fighter. Not well, not completely different. Just a sharper fighter than than the fighter I saw fight Terrell. So he's rapidly getting better, man. Um, um, yeah, yeah, they're doing a good job with the kid, man. You don't know whether you're a shark until you swim with the sharks. My my career's unfolded step by step, um, and each each step I've I've had to face, I've had to I've had to pick it up. That's my mentality at all times. I was going to go all the way to the top, very, very top, and see how far I can go. Oh.